The Bay Area is the birthplace of some of the most respected names in all of sports. Bill Walsh, Willie Mays, and this man. <laughs> oh. Meet George Henderson, a.k.a. Crazy George, proud San Jose State alum, and the world's first ever professional cheerleader. Look okay, out, three, one, two, three, cheer! That was good for such a home, that was good! I got into cheering because there was nobody else cheering. Somebody handed me a drum. I hit that drum, I started cheering. That was like 45 years ago. I've been cheering ever since. After nine studious years as a Spartan, George Henderson entered the workplace with a drum in his hand and determination in his heart. His first major test, the inaugural San Jose Earthquakes game. The first earthquake game was phenomenal. San Jose brought in the earthquakes, people loved them. We had to stop the game for 45 minutes because there was too many people coming into the game. It was wonderful. So wonderful, in fact, that it caught the eye of a famous attendee of the game, Chiefs owner, Lamar Hunt. Well, he came to the first earthquake game in 1974. He saw me shoot. He did not believe the reaction we got at the game. He instantly brought me in to Kansas City Chiefs for a game. I went over so well there, they lost 45 to nothing. And he still brought me in after that. I was full time with him four years with Lamar, and he was a great owner. That was only the beginning for the world's first professional cheerleader. They've got a full house on hand for you here tonight. What are you going to do to keep the fans on top of things? We're gonna cheat a lot and win! <laughs> what do you think of that one? <laughs> Crazy George has performed for over 40 years in front of more than 20 different teams. But he will always be known for the day... Let's go away! He made waves through the history books in Oakland. It was the Oakland A's New York Yankee playoff game 1981. And I had this cheer in my mind. I've been doing it in little places like high school rallies, but I put it out there and it was so great. And it went around and around and nobody that was there ever forgot it. Still to this day, you can find Crazy George triumphantly banging his drum while entertaining thousands of fans around the country. One, two, three. And while coaches may change and players may switch teams, the legacy of George Henderson stands tall.